Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Brand New Valley season, which is season 33. And that is the Swedish Valley. It's actually a chicken's valley. And the decoration this time is this beautiful dollar horse. I love it. I especially love the color and it's just so pretty. So let's get right into the game and start talking about this valley in more detail. Let's go. Right, so I'm back in the game and I'm just going to head over to the valley. You can see the board has been updated. So... Let's go inside and see what's happening. There we go. All right, first, I'm just going to show you guys the shop. So here's the exclusive shop. We have to collect 100 chickens. We've already collected two. There's 20 days. It's called as the Painted Horse. And there's some boosters as well. So let's see my common shop and see what I'm getting from here. That's one expansion permit. Two. Okay, that's um, three expansion permits. And I think two puzzle pieces. All right, good rewards. And these are my daily quests. So let's just spin the wheel and start driving. I hope to get nine. Well, that's not a great star. I just got six. Okay. And do I have the perk from the farm pass? You know, the extra spin? If I have, then I'm going to collect it, but I'm not sure where that is going to be. Mm, oh, it's over here. I need 45 more points. Can I do them? Oh, seems like I might be able to. Well, that's kind of unlucky, but I'm just going to head back and let me have a look at the tasks for today. I have to catch some fish. I have to feed the house and do some truck otters. So where's my cows? I think they're over here. So I'm just going to collect them, and I am going to feed them. I've got Rose working, so hopefully she won't feed them. Or maybe I can change her settings. And then the next one was to... It's tapping my name. All right, I'm going to do some trucks. These are really boring tasks, you guys. I hate them. I don't like any of them. These are, like, some of the worst valley tasks. And for tomorrow, I have to do another truck one there, but that's kind of better because we have the crop. So maybe I'm just going to send some trucks. I don't know. Definitely not a good start of the valley. Let's make more cream and butter. And I'm just going to go to my fishing area to do some fish, um, which I usually don't game. I hate fishing. Sometimes I do during the events, but usually it's really boring. And that's why I store fish in my baby farms. I don't fish myself unless I really have to. But yeah, I think I will do today. Um, I just need to get, okay, 10 more. So maybe three more fish and I'll be getting 10 points. So let's see what happens. And um, it's a Chicken's Valley. So I'm not a huge fan of Chicken's Valley. But then again, Valley hasn't been my concern these days. I haven't been really focusing a lot on the Valley. I've just been getting expansion permits and puzzle pieces from the Valley, which is great. But I've missed two consecutive decorations. I didn't get a single windmill. And I also did not collect the splashing fish. I don't know, guys. But Valley just is getting really boring for me. Unless there's going to be a new feature in the Valley. I don't think I'll be playing this in the future. I might just give up. Not really my cup of tea anymore. But seriously, the main reason I play the Valley is because of expansion permits and the puzzle pieces. I don't really care about decoration. Decoration was never my thing in the game. Alright, I just collected 10 and I think that's going to be it. As I said, this is not a great start. So let's just try this again. And hopefully this time, a better prize. Okay, seven. Not great, but not really that bad. Just fine. So in total, I have 13 uh, fuels collected. And I'm just going to start driving. So where's my truck? I think it's over here. Yeah, I'm here. So now we're just going to come to the buildings. And we're going to fill their orders. Wait, why is it saying 28 minutes? I don't understand it. I'm so confused. Minutes. Oh, wait, this doesn't make any sense. I'm so confused, you guys. I don't even know what to do. Wait, this is... Yeah. Oh, expires. I'm so confused. I thought it said... Okay, definitely not making sense. This is not making any sense right now. But I'm going to do the potato bread one. I got 23 green tokens and 7 of the blue tokens. Nice. We're going to come over here to this building. And I'm going to do my otter. 
That's two rice. Okay, there's a fuel station. Mm, maybe I should just uh, try my luck over here. Although I know that I won't be getting free fuel. So, yep, told you guys I won't be getting the free fuel. Let's come right here to this building. Um, it's called as the house. One more cacao. So, where's my cacao treats? Over here, we're just going to harvest a bunch of cacaos. And I'm going to do this as well. There we go. One of my daily quests have been completed. I have to collect 15 blue tokens, 45 red tokens, and I have to visit one diner. So, yeah, let's come over here, and I'm going to do the milk tea. I only have probably four fields left. Yep. Won't be able to drive a lot now. That's only going to make it to two. And I'm just going to have to stop. Definitely not a brilliant star in the valley, but... It's going to be my last request. Uh, so I've collected till now 78 green tokens. Wow. 36 and 31 of blue and red tokens. Nice. I can open the mystery box. Okay, just got an axe. Okay. So I think that's it for this valley. And it's a chicken's valley. Definitely not any animals. You just have to keep driving, keep driving, keep collecting chickens if you can. And your main goal just... And your main goal should just be collecting as many tokens as you can because that's what really matters in this valley. Because when you're collecting animals in the Sanctuary Valley, you get 25% more tokens. But since there's no animals, all you have to do is just the requests in the buildings. So, yeah, if you really want to get the decoration in all items, then you'll have to play a lot. And the decoration is this beautiful purple, blue colored painted horse, which has been inspired from the Swedish culture. All right, my farm now, and I'm just gonna harvest my crops. I've got some cabbage and soybeans. My silo just got full. That means I'm gonna have to sell some items. I have a lot of potatoes, which I don't need. I'm gonna put some brinjals. There's lettuce, more potatoes, more carrots. I don't know why my silo's so full. I think I have a lot of crops, but I have not been making a lot of products. Um, just gonna do this boat over here, honey tea. We're gonna do the mushroom salad. Let's do another honey tea. And I can just ask for help. Let me grab my peanuts. Um, so let me know what you guys think of this valley. And do you enjoy the chickens valley more or the animals valley? I actually enjoy the sanctuary valley more. I mean, I think 90% of the people in the game enjoy Sanctuary Valley more than the Chicken's Valley. I don't even think that there's anyone who actually loves Chicken Valley. Chicken's Valley is just okay, but it's a lot of hard work. Ew, that was quick. Okay, honest. So, um, I think that was all about this video. I just wanted to talk about the Valley Season 33, which has been finally started in the game. It's going to stay for another 20 days. You have the opportunity to win this beautiful painted horse from the Sweden culture. And you can also get a lot of puzzle pieces and expansion permits, whatever you want to get. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Haiti videos coming. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. I really appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Bye.